Hi, this is Tara Reed, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how easy it is to make cute little personalized gift bags for Christmas. Um, this is from my Claus Family bundle, which has lots of different titles, Mommy, Mummy, Daddy, Papa, but you can also change it out and add names because I give you Claus by itself as well. You can use or skip the feet. Let me show you just how easy these are to make. So this design is from a bundle I call the Claus Family, and it has uh, nine different names or basically titles, Mummy, Mommy, Papa, already set up. You can use or skip the little elf feet. And then I also include just the word Claus. So if you wanted to add names like I am doing for my son, Kyle, uh, you can always message me. And if once you have made the purchase, I will let you know which font that is. I'm using these five by seven bags. You can use any size and I'll have all the links to find the materials below. So I got, I got these, they're muslin. Then I'm going to be using a Cricut Easy Press Mini, uh, Easy Press Mat, a Teflon sheet. I also love these nonstick scissors from Fiskars. And then of course the design. So there's two ways that you can go about it. You can cut the green as one piece and the red as one piece, but you end up having a lot of dead space, especially with the red, because you would be wasting all of this space here. So I set these all up the size that I wanted them to be, and then I moved all the red things close together and cut them, and then the green things, so that I ended up with four different pieces. All right, so now our Cricut is heated up. It will turn green when it's heated. So I'm going to run it over the bag, just like ironing. We're getting any wrinkles and any moisture out. So you always, always want to do this on fabric before applying heat transfer vinyl. Now we're just going to place these four pieces down to get an idea of where we want them. Now, the plastic is overlapping, so I'm not gonna press them all at once, but I just wanna know where I want everything. And you'll notice on this one, the feet, I decided I really wish I had the feet a little closer. So I'm gonna be moving the feet up a little bit on this one. And I'm gonna press the green first, so I'm gonna put both layers of green on the bottom. So let's see, if I put the shoes there and that there, that's gonna be good, it's gonna be nice and close. So I'm gonna put the red aside, press down on the green a little bit, cause that's sticky. And now I'm just gonna take the heat press and press over all of the vinyl. You don't wanna move it because as that vinyl heats, it could, I don't know, kind of blur like stretch a little bit if you move this like this. You just wanna lift and press. All right, so now we're just gonna pull the plastic coating off of those. And then we just need to line up the red. So these little shoes, you just need to line up. So there's a teeny bit of space in between the glitter and the shoe. And I'm gonna put the hat down. Now, you can't press right on here because you will mess up this vinyl. That's why we need a Teflon sheet. If you're doing layers, most likely you're gonna need a Teflon sheet. So you're just gonna put that right over it. That's gonna protect this vinyl from direct heat, but you can still see through it. And now I'm just gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna press over the glitter section Pull that off. So that's how easy this is to do. I'm gonna do one for everyone at the that's gonna be at the table on Christmas Eve. It is pretty quick and easy to do. Once you decide on your size, you're just gonna cut a bunch of hats, a bunch of shoes, and then just however many names or titles that you wanna do. My son lives in London now, so I like to call myself mummy. I am not British, but I'm going with it. So you can find links to purchase these bundles um, below this video. And I hope you have fun creating lots of 
interesting and different things for your holiday.